of it later. Thank you. It's uh, 7.47. Britain's most senior child protection officer has suggested that low-risk paedophiles shouldn't be sent to jail. Chief Constable Simon Bailey says lower-level offenders should be given counselling and rehabilitation. Instead, he joins us now. Good morning to you. A front page of the Times newspaper this morning. Um, what do you mean by this? And some people concerned that perhaps this gives the wrong message. Well, I, I think there's a very, very clear message that I'm, that I'm giving today. The police service working with the National Crime Agency has, has never been so robust in this field. We are arresting over 400 men every month. We are safeguarding over 500 children every month as a result of targeting those people that would view indecent imagery of children. But the fact is we are simply uh, becoming inundated with the number of referrals that we are having to deal with and the number of cases that our child protection teams are now having to cope with and we have sophisticated risk assessment tools that I am as confident as I can be will be able to determine whether or not an individual poses a risk of contact abusing a child and when you look at the number of resources that we now have working within this field you look at the, the numbers that we are now having to deal with I am proposing that we have to take a, a slightly different approach whereby and all of individuals will still be arrested, but there are alternative solutions rather than putting these people through the court system who are now dealing with between 40 and 50 percent of all their time are unfortunately allegations of sexual abuse. Cases are taking too long to come to court and we have to look at an alternative whereby those individuals that we assess as posing little risk to children of contact abuse have to attend some form of rehabilitation course, have to attend a, a course whereby they are educated as to the impact of their abuse, the impact of their offending, whereby they are not then put into the justice system itself. OK, so they wouldn't be given criminal sanctions. Would they, for example, be on the sex offenders register? They would still be on the sex offenders register. They would still then be managed within the community, yes. Um, what do you say to people who say, well, perhaps pe people looking at these kind of images are fueling the demand for those images and therefore abuse of children? I absolutely understand and fully recognise that every time one of those images is reviewed that victim is being abused again and this is not me going soft on people that view those images far from it but the fact is there are now potentially in circulation a hundred million of these images we are having to deal with more referrals than we ever have done. So three years ago we would receive 400 referrals a month into the National Crime Agency from the United States of America. That's now approaching on occasions 5,000 a month. What I'm saying is that my focus and I believe the focus of the police service and our partners should be targeting those individuals that pose the risk, the risk of contact abuse whereby we, we put a little less effort into those people that pose such little threat that actually some form of re rehabilitation some form of course whereby they understand the impact of their offending will be just if not more effective. Okay and talk about the, the high the people at high risk as well you say you will do this risk assessment and you, that is robust enough is it to to determine who is who are these people these high risk offenders? I have confidence in the risk assessment tools that we are now using that we can identify those individuals that pose the greatest threat to children yes. OK. And just with regards to children as well, you, you know, the, the bottom line is it, it's children who are, you are trying to protect. You think that this is the best way to protect children? Well, I think it's the best way that the police service, currently doing the activity that we can, is able to do it. But the fact is, we need to, have to start having a very different debate around the whole issue of child sexual abuse in all its awful guises. We have to start building resilience within our children so they can spot the signs of exploitation. That's why I think education in schools around this is so very, very important. I think we have to, have to start having a very different conversation with the IT companies and start saying to them, you need to start denying offenders access to this material. I think that is absolutely critical as well. If we start to do that, then we will start to make a real difference. Simon Bailey, uh, Chief Constable as well, at Norfolk Constabulary, thanks for your time this morning. Really interesting debate, that, isn't it? Uh, now, how's this for an idea? Children stop spending so much time reading.